In this video, I will show you how I created this. This is just a quick little tutorial to show you my process of creating stuff like this. So if you want to see tutorials that go really into details and stuff like that, you can check the link in the description. I have two free months of Skillshare that you can use. I am started to uploading tutorials there that are really slow and with all the details that you need to know. Right, so got rid of this background here. If you want to learn to do that, you can check the video here up in the screen. So let's just start off from creating a new file here. I'm going to use two times Instagram size. And let's just drag this in here. First thing, always make a smart object and let's put this somewhere like that. Now I found this as a background, so I want to make sure this blends well together. So this tiger look, looks really light here. So we need to edit all that to get all the lighting right and also the colors here. For the bottom side, I'm going to leave it like this because I want to create some water reflections on the bottom side. So we can leave that part for now. First, let's get rid of some of this color. Slightly gonna drop this. And let's also make them darker with the curves here. Let's drop all these highlights, it's way too light now. Let's also give some more contrast to this. Notice that this tiger is not so good quality. So what I'm gonna do here is open up the camera raw filter. And let's increase the sharpening here so we can increase this one. And let's do a little bit of luminance. All right, that's better. Save it. As you can see, this gets a lot better now. All right, let's work on the lighting here in the colors. So this background is too green for me. So I'm going to make this background a little bit less green, a bit more blue in this. Maybe like that, drop that green. All right, this is way too light, uh, way too dark. So I need to make areas lighter now. So I'm going to create another curves on this tiger and I'm going to make him light now, but not so light. So I'm going to remove it, press Ctrl I on this mask of it. And now I can brush parts lighter again. If a little bit of light come from there, so I can make some parts lighter again. Let's make sure his face is light. Get some nice sort of rim lights here. Because if he is too dark, you won't see anything anymore. So no not want that. Let's get some of these parts lighter. So for instance, things that are sticking out here. Like this ball here, this one, maybe this rock also. So we can create some beautiful lighting here. So want some here on this head. So let's also make his eyes lighter. All right, now I can do some dodge and burn here. So I'm going to create a new layer filled with 50% gray. Make sure to create a clipping mask. So only edit this area inside him. Let's do some burn here because I feel like he's still like really light. Let's do some highlights here. So especially the right side needs to be darker. So, oh, wrong tool, need the burn tool. So this side needs to be darker. It's behind his head, he's blocking some light here. Let's do here. Just a little bit of brushing. So we get more details in this. Like that. The one I have to do is too much because if you do it too much, we're just going to ruin it. Let's also make this dar darker like that. It already starts to look like a real photo. As you can see, it's really easy to blend things together if you just drop all the colors of it and focus on the lighting. And that's pretty much it to blend thing things together. So you can see in the background, we have a light coming from there, from well, way in the background there, so I can just make sure the left side of him is lighter than the right side. Or what is it, the back side? Whatever it is, this can also be dark. And let's do some shadows. A 
If you want to know how dark to make things, you can look at the dark areas on the other photos. So for instance, you can see this tree here and this grass here is like a darker tone. Let me enable this so I can show this better. I forgot to enable my presentation assistant here. So you can see here, this is really like this kind of tone and try to get the dark areas the same as that. So if you look at this and this, just slightly the same as these. All right, this looks pretty good. Now we can do some dodge. I'm gonna fill this with 50% gray again. Change blend mode to overlay. And now we can get things lighter. Let's make his eyes lighter. It's like thing that I always like to do, make his eyes lighter. Let's do here more exposure. All right, that's better. We can see what he's looking at. Let's do some dodge also on his body. So I'm gonna do some more dodge here with the 50% gray layer. Changes to overlay. And let's also do some here just to get some highlights. So he isn't really dark, but still area slider. Do some here. All right, that's too much, so we need to drop the exposure. I also do this, like this thing is sticking out, this paw. If it gets like really wide, you probably did it too much, so try to do this. Not too much, but still visible. Like here, maybe. I think this got too wide, so I'm gonna get rid of it here. Because this stone is like gray already. I don't wanna have too much. All right, this looks pretty nice. Now we can move this slightly to the right side. So we have him in the center. Like that. All right, let's put this in the file for Instagram. I just select all these layers and drag them here. Totally forgot that I created this file. So, all right, let's make sure they got this in the center here. After that, I can just duplicate this layer. So while having all these selected, I just press Ctrl J. So make duplicated version of it, press Ctrl Command E. So rasterize that. Oh, and now I'm gonna go to transform, flip this vertical. And go to distort displays. I have this displacement water ripples PSD file. I have another video how you can create it. So I'll link this video up in the screen. And here I select 1020. You can also do 1030. And here I just select this file and it creates this water ripples effect. And that's pretty much it for this. And of course, you can make this a little bit darker. So I'm just making this black first and drop this opacity. So we have this water slightly darker than, than the surface above it. Right now I got this composition, the idea, and mostly what happens after this is I fine tune everything. And this is actually the longest part of everything. Because here I tried different stuff. I tried different blend modes here. For instance, if I want to make it different colors, I just go around all these gradient maps to see which one would make it better. Let's just see what we have here. Maybe I want to make it more red, so I will just use this one and change this to soft light and make it like that. This looks also pretty cool. Gives it a little bit more warmth in this image. I will also add some gradient to this, change this to radial and to reverse it. And here I can make sure the stuff around them is slightly darker than he, so we have more focus on this lion here or tiger. Getting confused here with lions and tigers. All right, this is also nice, but don't have to do that much because we all already have a dark image here. Now we can do some curves to get the light more popping out. Don't want to do this too much because if I do this too much, it will get too light. And 
I don't want to have highlights in this in this design just slightly you can see here the contrast gets really high it doesn't look real anymore so just a little bit like that to lighten him up I also do some color changes here I will play with this one to see if I can change this just a little bit like that and some bluish let's leave the blue one do some color balance Getting back to blue now and green. I save this file as a PSG file and open this up in Lightroom. And here I have my presets to make this really cool. So if you check the link in the description, you can find these. As you can see here, I can use one of these to change the lighting and the colors of this image. So I like this one. This one is really cool. This is way too dark, of course, but we can change that to Photoshop later. So what I'm going to do here is only change the exposure slightly and less of these whites because if you have too much too much from these whites, it just ruins the image. Maybe a little bit more blacks here. Get rid of these highlights. Like that. All right, I'm going to export this. This is a nice color. I really like this. And let's also do this one. I almost always use the first one for editing. You can see here, it makes this look really cool. But of course, this is all also too dark, so we need to change the exposure. So we get a nice, nice tiger now. It makes this image even look softer, like a, almost like a painting. So that's pretty cool from these presets. All right, that's too much. Let's. And I'm also gonna export this one. So I have two files now. All right, two files, this one and this one from Lightroom that I'm gonna put above the other layers, like here and this one. I like this one more because it isn't that dark, but I'm gonna change this. Let's see, let's drop the opacity of it. And let's put this one here and also drop the opacity. You can change this to soft light. Looks also pretty cool. All right, this is almost done. We can make it slightly lighter. So this isn't too dark. I think this is pretty much done. So that's how easy it is to create something cool. I can use this for a canvas painting actually. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And see you in the next one.